Hey guys, hey everybody, happy Summerween vlog two. So hey everybody, my name is Asia and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my um, second vlog for Summerween. This is going to be days five through seven. Today is Tuesday, which is the fifth day of the readathon, and I decided to cut the vlog last night. And I was going to edit it this morning, start editing it, but I just couldn't. If you guys can't tell, I'm a little stuffed up, and I talk about it more in my um, last vlog. If you haven't watched that, which I don't know why you'd be watching this if you didn't watch that, but um, I'm just sick. I have fluid in my ears, and I've been having breathing issues, and that's like exacerbating the breathing issues. And I was out of work for like three days, so I decided to go back to work today but I'm off again tomorrow and tomorrow's when I'm going to be making my spooky treat I'm going to be making pumpkin cheesecake muffins but I also made a treat at work which y'all saw in the intro b-roll so this one kind of like is a cinnamon toast crunch cinnabon kind of frappuccino but I have some exciting news well y'all probably aren't excited but i got a new computer which i'm so happy about because this is my computer before i'll show that it's a microsoft surface but the hinges on it broke and so they're taped up and they um sometimes get stuck and it's like hard to like place things on it and i also got this when i went to high school so i would have this and a whole bunch of like binders and um lunch boxes and stuff in my backpack and so i needed something small and compact and i like having touch screen um but going to college this really was not the best move because in lecture halls not only does this part need to be supported but this part needs to be supported right here um and so it would always fall that's not actually how the hinges broke though but it would fall because this part right here couldn't get the support it would need since the beginning of my channel i've had this computer i've always done live shows on this computer whatever but now lately especially when i've had my computer plugged in my computer's been glitching out and freezing while i'm doing live shows specifically and i was like she's time to go so i got this computer in hp um i don't remember exactly what the name is and the reason that i really wanted this computer is because obviously it is good in the fact that it can stand up all on its own just like a normal laptop but the part is you can literally bend it flat you can bend it all the way back you can stand it up like this you can put it flat as a tablet you can do whatever you want with it so it's literally like my old computer combined with like the computer that i needed together and i'm so happy so i was going to just start editing as soon as i got home but now that i have this computer i'm gonna set it up and i'll just gonna post my vlog instead of today probably tomorrow um which is fine with me me and I don't know which computer um, I'm going to edit it on. And for reading, I haven't read that much today because I literally got up and then went to work and then I just got home um, probably 45 minutes ago where I last left off in the, the last reading vlog. I was on page 152 of The Perfect Child and I'm on page 205. I have read about 50 pages today, which is like pretty good for me because I don't normally read when I'm at work or in the car or anything. I don't normally listen to my audio even though I should. So I did listen a little bit and some things have changed in the story. I'm hoping that in this part it gets a little bit more pushing the boundaries and if you don't know what this is about I'm gonna remind you in case you don't remember from my last video or you didn't watch it but in this book we follow this um, couple they're married and the husband is a doctor and the wife is a nurse and one day the husband has this case come in of this little girl who was like abused and she was found in the closet with her dead mother's body who was obviously murdered and she was obviously abused as well the little girl and she's like very developmentally behind they thought she was a toddler but she was around five years old because she was just so small and her she's emotionally cognitively and physically behind and the couple has actually been having infertility issues for about five years but the husband really really has a good bond with this patient and they have nowhere to place her because they don't know who the father is like he's never been on the birth certificate the mother's dead um, and nobody wants her so they convince social services to let them be her emergency foster placement and they take her in and she does become part of their family and and some things have happened that are really resembling the push by Ashley Audrain and I love that book but I've heard this one pushes it more and I really do like that this has um, a lot of psychological talk in it there's a lot of therapists and psychologists and you could just tell that this girl in this book is very psychologically messed up and I'm interested to see if we dive more into like what exactly she has 
sense and that's like the cause for behind what she's doing because most evil child books which i love evil child books but they never really go into like the reason why the child is evil they never really go into like um the explanation the psychological reasoning but um lucinda berry i'm pretty sure is a psychologist it doesn't really say anything about her like in the front or the back of this book but i'm pretty sure lucinda berry is a psychologist so yeah and then also we get inserts into this book that say um like case whatever whatever and it's um the police interviewing the social service worker that worked with them and that's also really really interesting to see it from the social worker's perspective as well um and as i said i'm really enjoying it some things have changed that resemble the push and so i'm excited to see and hopefully it pushes the envelope a little bit more and i get a little bit more like this kid being legitimately evil she's very manipulative and she knows what she's doing but the husband doesn't really believe the wife because it's really that she has beef with the wife um not with the husband the husband doesn't really believe that um she's doing these things on purpose but it's very obvious to the wife and the social worker that she is um but i'm excited to hopefully see some more stuff go down so i'm going to listen to the audiobook of this as i set up my computer and sarah and i are supposed to do some um private reading sprints tonight so um, i don't know what time we're going to do that but a little bit later so i'm hoping to at least finish this book today i'm like a book behind for my one book a day because today's day five this will be my fourth book so i'm going to try and catch up tomorrow but i need to watch gone girl tomorrow i want to make my muffins but i can listen to an audiobook then so yeah but i'm trying to do my book a day still i'm just one book behind so i'm hoping that if i catch up tomorrow that i'll be good um but yeah so i'm going to go set up my computer because my battery's been blinking at me this whole time and i will talk to y'all in a little bit hi everybody it is the next day and it is around 4 p.m and i would have updated y'all earlier but i was just editing my vlog for the part one and i just finished it so i'm about to export it after i film this clip but i'm actually about to go to back to urgent care today because i feel way worse literally my throat is so swollen my uvula is touching my tongue and it feels horrible and i just don't feel well so <laughs> i haven't really read anything but i did finish the perfect child last night i actually did not do reading sprints with sarah because she didn't feel well so i actually cammy wanted to do some so we got on but we mostly just chatted it was like a chatting session not really like a reading session but i did finish the perfect child and originally i was going to give this book four stars but i think i might bump it up to 4.5 because i keep thinking about the ending and it's so horrific like i don't know like I and mean, i told most y'all my thoughts in my last vlog because i literally just watched it back but the child in this is just so evil and the end really like this takes evil child to like a different level because normally i feel like in evil child books you're questioning whether the child's actually evil or if the character is delusional or what's going on but this one was like more intense at the end so yeah she's really 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 evil so i'm landing somewhere between a 4 and a 4.5 for this one and i said i'm going to actually lower my gone girl rating to 3.5 because i don't know it just doesn't feel like a four star read to me so i'm gonna give it 3.5 because it was still good i don't think i'm gonna bake the muffin today and hopefully i'll bake them tomorrow i don't think i'm gonna go to work tomorrow because i literally feel like garbage um so we'll see what they say at the urgent care um and then i decided that next i'm gonna start the kind worth killing i'm gonna try to finish this one today because i'm a book behind so um i need to try and finish two books today or two books tomorrow so um this one was one of the shortest ones as well it's only 10 hours so um it'll probably take me around three hours to finish but on hoopla which is where i have this checked out it's the only place that i know that you can go up to four times speed but i probably won't do that because it's doing too much but i've listened to maybe like five minutes of this i don't have any thoughts on it so far i feel like i've seemed so down because i just really don't feel well but i want to vlog i really really do um but i know that it's about this man and and he is like on a flight or like in the airport and he meets this woman and he begins to like click with her which like is not good because he's literally married and they're like very flirtatious you know they start to talk about like really deep things and he's like mm, jokingly like mm, i should kill my wife or like i want to kill my wife and then the uh, the woman's like okay like i'm gonna help you kill your wife like period and he's like mm, i was kind of joking but if you're down i'm down and i've heard that this is like the only good peter swanson and then i think i'm going to pick up the um 
the fourth monkey because that's on my challenge and then the last read i think i might do for the readathon is in my dreams i hold a knife uh, by ashley winstead so yeah i'm going to go because i am supposed to arrive at the urgent care in 20 minutes it's only like 15 minutes down the road but i like did like a check-in already online so i'm supposed to get there at 4 30 and i will update y'all when i make some progress but yeah i'm gonna go because i need to go see that doctor okay <laughs> sick things so i decided to come down here to my library to do an update because y'all have literally seen me in my room in the car last vlog so i wanted to update y'all it's about 9 p.m so i know it's been a hot second but i went to urgent care and then i finished doing my thumbnail and stuff for my video so i got um 25 in which is about 80 pages into the kind we're killing so not super far but i'm hoping to buckle down and just finish it tonight and I also have been really wanting to watch Scream because I saw Lala watching it and then Gwen's watching it and I really want to watch Scream 2 because I've only ever sc seen Scream 1 and I've heard Scream 2 is good so I really want to do that but I don't know because I don't know if I'm calling out tomorrow but even talking right now it's very difficult for me to breathe so <coughs> we'll see at urgent care today they told me that I tested negative for COVID the flu and strep so they have no idea what's going on, on with me but they prescribed me some antibiotics antibiotics and a steroid yeah um i'm liking this book a lot because basically what has happened i explained the premise to y'all but the reason that he wants to kill his wife is because she's been cheating on him he is really really upset and he like hates her because he she's cheating on him yeah that's like the whole reason and we're getting flashbacks about the other girl lily and she has like some really trauma in her life but she seems to have had these murderous tendencies before so that's interesting these characters are very interesting but it's very much like giving domestic thriller so i'm excited to see if it twists it on its head because i don't really know if i'm like loving domestic thrillers like that right now um but yeah i just um wanted to give you all a little update but i'm not super far in but i am liking it so far i'm liking the the flashbacks about Lily when she was a teenager. I'm excited to see more of the twist because it says shows a lot of Gone Girl's hallmarks but cranks up the volume. There isn't just one enormous game changing twist, why three, including one at the end that will take your breath away. So I'm excited to get to like a twist to like see what goes on. And yeah, I don't really have too much to say at the current moment, but I'm excited to see how it's going to continue and I'll give you all some more updates in a little bit when I get a little bit farther um, and I actually have something to say. Okay, y'all, listen. I'm about 50% of the way through um, The Kind Worth Killing now. I just got past part two. I read the first chapter of part two. I'm 150 pages in. We just had, like, a plot twist revealed. And something has occurred in the plot too and i'm like quaking because it was like back to back like something crazy happened that switches the whole plot the whole focus of the story and then now like the motivations for a character have been revealed and i'm like oh my gosh and these characters are legitimately crazy like literally i'm like are y'all good like why do you just feel okay with just murdering people all the time like what happened to y'all as children are you okay like it's not like we're just murdering people now when they do stuff that we don't like like okay sure i'll get with the program let's go like uh uh girl but we are about to get the perspective of a third individual i'm looking at like the title of the next chapter right now chapter 17 and it says the name of the person that's whose perspective we get and it is someone completely different and it's someone that we haven't had the perspective of yet so i'm excited to see their perspective but like this twist was crazy i didn't see it coming at all and i'm just baffled baffled this book is just crazy i don't really have much else to say but besides the fact that i'm shook and i'm baffled and i'm really really enjoying this book so i'm gonna go continue it so hopefully i can finish it tonight and I'll come back to y'all if something else happens or if I feel like it's time for another update. Okay, update. I've made it to part three, which is like, I don't know, over 70% of the way through probably. I'm on page, almost at 250 pages. I'm on page 243. And this book is literally crazy. It's literally betrayal after betrayal. And I'm shook. These characters have me quaking. Like literally, it's actually betrayal after betrayal. Like there's so many twists and turns in this book like i'm 
I never know what to expect. Like, I thought, like, mm, there might be something related to this. It wasn't even what I thought. This book is literally insane, okay? I'm quaking. This book is so good. It has me hooked. Hooked! Um, I love it. I love it. It's fantastic. I'm going to just go back to reading now because I need to finish this book because I need to know what happens. Honestly, I need to know. Okay, guys, it is now the morning. I finished The Kind Worth Killing last night and I am giving it 4.5 out of 5 stars. I really, really, really enjoyed it. Some things at the end I didn't find super believable. I was like, okay, like this is a little convenient. The rest of the twists I felt like were not convenient and they naturally flowed and were not forced at all and I really 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 liked that. That book was just so many twists and turns things that I didn't expect. I saw some people say that it was predictable and I didn't really think that at all. I really enjoyed it so much because the twist just caught me out of nowhere. The characters were despicable and there were so many connections that I didn't expect. I've been awake since like 9, it's about 11, but I had to buy a parking pass for school. That was at 10, so that's why I was up. And I actually woke up because I heard a phantom call of my mom calling me, but she was asleep, so she didn't call me. It was just a phantom call. Um, and I called out of work because I feel a lot lot better today but as you can tell I'm still a little congested my ears still hurt my throat still hurts my lungs still hurt I'm still coughing it's just less I would say I feel about 50% better and since I'm working five days in a row and then working the election and then I have one day off and then I work again for the rest of the week and maybe more I was just like I feel like I need to be at least 75% better before I go back to work so I decided to stay home today but I feel a lot better I'm just not there yet and I took a bookstagram picture which is why I scream twos up here this is the movie that I want to watch today but I really want to end summer Moon with the bang so especially since I called out because I want to try and finish two books I finished five books so far and I really want to finish two books um I also posted my vlog yesterday of um summer wing part one it's doing really well so i'm really happy but but i did have two books that i picked out that i want to try and finish today one of them's like shorter like an average length book i would say the other one's a little bit longer so the first that i have is in my dreams a holy knife by ashley winstead this one's about a 10 hour audiobook which is about average to me and the other one I want to read is The Fourth Monkey by J.D. Barker because this one is on my 12 challenge. This one is a 13 hour audiobook, so a little bit longer. Combined, that's 23 hours. But on three times speed, I believe that's about seven hours. And I could do seven hours in a day, seven hours of reading um and watch a movie like I have plenty of time as long as I don't get distracted. That's the thing. If I don't get distracted, I'll be good um but i do want to make the muffins today as well for y'all i don't feel 100 percent like as i talk like my ear hurts but like i really really want to make them so i'm going to make them um and i can listen to the audiobook while i do that i know that in my dreams a whole life is shorter but i'm really being drawn to the fourth monkey so i think i'm gonna go with this one first and the bookmark that i have in here since i was taking a bookstagram picture with scream 2 i have this little bookmark that has the scream with the daisies and the um knife and this is from Gigi and boo i got a whole bunch of my bookmarks from them i love this bookmark and it went perfectly with the scream too i also am one make the muffins early because i think i might do some impromptu reading sprints on my channel to try and motivate me and hopefully i won't chat as much um and yeah so i think i might do that um, a little bit later after I make the muffins so I kind of want to go do that so yeah as I said I think I'm just gonna go start the fourth monkey and also start on the muffins we're gonna make this sick day a productive sick day because this is my last one
Okay, so I'm going to make this update a little quick because I decided to do reading sprints at 2.30 and it's 2.27. I just finished making the muffins and everything, so y'all saw that. <coughs> Hopefully you enjoyed it. But it's not actually the same recipe as last year, I don't think. But I decided to put on my um, Halloween shirt, my Michael Myers Halloween safety shirt because Halloween is like my comfort movie. It was like my first horror movie that I really watched and got me into them because I used to be scared of them and this was the movie that made me not scared of them. Um, but I am almost halfway done with The Fourth Monkey. Um, I have been reading a good bit of this today, but obviously I was talking to my parents, you know, because I was downstairs, you know, just about whatever and whatever. Um, so I did get about halfway. I have about um, seven and a half hours left of the audiobook, so like two and a half hours left so I should finish this one around five and then finish the other one if I just read straight around nine ish but I might watch the movie first in between I don't know what I'm gonna do but this I'm 160 pages in and I'm really liking this one it has three different perspectives so basically there's this serial killer called the fourth monkey and he takes these girls and sends the ears the eyes the tongue and then finally dumps the body because it's supposed to be like the four monkeys like um hear no evil see no evil speak no evil and then do no evil is the last one um the fourth monkey that most people don't know about and he's done this to try and hurt specific families and they don't know why they've never caught him but this um man or i think he was driving a bus um accidentally hit this guy at the beginning of the book and he was delivering like ears to this house and so they're like oh maybe he's the fourth monkey so they do like an autopsy on him and stuff and figure out that this is the fourth monkey but they don't know who he is about this they're trying to figure out who exactly his identity is but they're also like why did he kill himself and what's going on because he cut off these ears and we're delivering it to the family's home so now they're also in a time crunch to try and find the girl that was captured because now she's in captivity alone no ears cut off you know and the man is dead so eventually she'll like starve or um die of thirst and so they're trying to find her so we get three different perspectives we get porter who's on the police force and he's figuring out the case and then we get the girl who's tied up and then we get there's like this um when the man died he had like this um diary with him and it's basically like a diary slash memoir about his life and it goes back to his childhood with his parents and it's really explaining a lot about him and his psyche and i'm enjoying it this is the type of thrillers that i like after reading gone girl i just don't i think i realized that domestic thrillers are like not my thing i didn't really like the kind worth killing though but i think like these ones i just enjoy way more than just traditional domestic thrillers even though i haven't really even read that many domestic thrillers these ones are just more my jam so my reading sprints have we're supposed to start a minute ago so i'm gonna go do those and i'll update y'all in a little bit when i make more progress so I did finish the fourth monkey on sprints. I know I was gonna update y'all during the sprints, but I literally forgot. I think I'm gonna rate this book 4.5 stars. I really, really enjoyed it. I forgot this was a series and normally a thriller series. I feel like at least like the Grant County series by Karen Slaughter, like it finishes up that mystery in one book and then it starts another one or another case in the next one. But this one's so good. It's literally phenomenal. I've got to tell y'all that the man picks these people to punish the other ones because they're committing crimes and they figure out um the police figure out based on his killings that these people were committing crimes so like if this um really rich man was committing crimes the serial killer will take his daughter do, 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 chop her up send the pieces whatever and then dump her body and then they'll figure out that this male was committing crimes and he's being punished by his daughter being killed for his crimes and the police will then put him in jail that's usually what happens but it was really good i really liked the twist and the turns the end had me sh i did not expect what happened i can't even say what happens because it completely changes the direction of the book but i didn't expect that to be like the case at all um i had no idea and i'm just shook that's all i have to say i feel like with the others it's hard to review them because it's just like yeah there was a twist i didn't expect it can't talk about it because it's a spoiler that's literally it um and i started in my dreams i hold a knife i'm about um 40 pages in and it is almost 9 p.m i still have plenty of time to finish this book tonight it'll take me um uh, maybe like three more hours but i am going to watch scream 2 because i just need a break um i am liking this book so far 
um i really am enjoying the um college aspects because this is my first year at college i've always really romanticized college and high school so i like seeing that this has a lot of drama in it so far and i'm liking it sometimes the drama of rich like white people can get annoying but sometimes it's really entertaining and so far it's entertaining so i'm enjoying it um i don't really have many other thoughts because i'm only 40 pages in and i also wanted to show y'all my telvar bag came in it came in this is her she has these long straps that you can do like over the shoulder across body i'm trying to like flatten it out a little bit so like it sits on the ground this is her my mom's calling me give me one sec I literally realized I started like getting into bed and watching Scream 2 without ever finishing because my mom called me. I'm about to watch Scream, but I'm sorry. I have like a little video speed controller and I'm going to speed the movie up. I do that with movies. I do it with reality TV show. Not so much like normal TV shows like Stranger Things I would never speed up. But it's just, it's a, it's a horror movie. Like it'll be fine. Um, some people are going to be like, that's blasphemy. But you know what? I got to do me. And if I don't speed it up, that ADHD is going to kick in and I'm going to pay even less attention. And I'd rather have more time to just read the book and chill because I'm not going to lie, like I'm starting to get a little burnt out. Not on reading necessarily, but I'm getting a little stressed about my job. So I feel like I need some time to decompress and reading is not that. Um, I know it is for some people but right now because it's summer and I'm trying to like finish this book before the end of the day. Like that is not relaxing. <laughs> so anyways but i am liking it i don't know why i feel like in my dreams i hold a knife and scream go really well together uh, they just give me those vibes but i am going to go watch scream 2 and that should take me to probably like 10 30 ish on the speed that i'm watching and then i'm going to continue in my dreams i hold a knife so i will talk to y'all in a little bit Okay, y'all, it's 1.30, and I'm just going to be honest with y'all, I'm not reading anymore tonight. I haven't read any more of um, In My Dreams I Hold a Knife, but I've been having a lot of anxiety around my job and what I'm going to be doing for that, and I just haven't been in the mood. Like, I just want to watch stuff. So, I only finished six books in seven days, but that's still almost a book a day, um, and I'm also starting to feel a little slumpy now. And I don't know if it's just, like, reading almost the same genre for the whole week or if it's just reading it, or if I'm just over it for today. I don't know. i hope, hoping that it's just tomorrow I'll wake up and I'll be okay. But I thought I would review all the books that I read for the readathon and just go over them in my ratings. The first one that I finished was Horror Store by Grady Hendrix. This one is a um, speculative horror that takes place in a um, kind of similar store to Ikea, and I gave this one four stars. I really enjoyed it a lot more than I expected. It was really good. And then the next one that I picked up is We Can Never Leave This Place by Eric LaRocca. This is a dystopian fantasy horror and it's super short. has a has a Spider-Man in it. Can't really say much else. It follows a teenage girl and I gave this one 4.5 stars. I really enjoyed it but it's not my favorite Eric LaRocca that I've read out of the three. Then next up I finished Gone Girl by Jillian Flynn. This is a domestic thriller that's super popular. You've probably heard of it um, where a wife goes missing and the husband is trying to figure it out but he's very suspicious to everybody around him and whether he had to, anything to do with her disappearance and I gave this one um, four stars originally, but I'm lowering it to 3.5 because I don't think domestic thrillers are my thing, but I can appreciate the twists. Um, they weren't shocking to me necessarily, but I appreciate them, and back when this was published, I bet it was revolutionary. So I'm giving it 3.5. I still enjoyed it, and I had a good time, but it was just way too long to me, and the twists were good, but not, um, anything crazy, but I can understand why it's a lot of people's favorite. Then next up I read The Perfect Child by Lucinda Berry and this one is an evil child book. It has to do with a couple fostering a little girl who came into the hospital because the husband is a doctor and um, they take her in and foster her but something is a little not right. She has a lot of behavioral issues but is it just behavioral is it issues from her abuse in the past or is it something deeper i think i'm gonna give this one four or four point five stars i don't remember what i said earlier but um somewhere in between there i haven't decided yet exactly what rating i'm gonna give this but somewhere in four four point five stars i really really did like this one um and the longer i sit on it the more that i like it then i finished the kind worth killing by peter swanson this is a thriller that follows two people that met in an airport and the um man 
says that he basically wants to kill his wife as a joke and the um woman is like i'll help you kill her and he's like okay bet and so they make a plan to kill his wife and i gave and i'm giving this one 4.5 stars i really really like this one the twists were amazing um the end was a little bit unrealistic in some aspects but i did really enjoy the twist and i liked the writing and it kept me very very hooked like i was hooked the last book that I finished today was The Fourth Monkey by J.D. Barker and this one is a serial killer thriller that has three different perspectives and it has the detective perspective, the diary of the serial killer, and the woman that is currently in his capture and I'm giving this one 4.5 stars as well. I really really enjoyed this one but I don't think it's a full 5 star. Maybe if I sit on it it might bump itself up to a 5 star but as of now I'm giving this one 4.5 stars. So we had some definitely some good books. No 5 stars but pretty pretty close but I didn't have any book that like in my chest I had that feeling that feeling like that pretty girls or verity feeling but I did really enjoy these books a lot so specifically I would say the standouts of this readathon were these ones as well as the Eric LaRocca is always a standout because the writing is stunning I really really enjoyed the perfect child the fourth monkey the kind worth killing and we can never leave this place but I honestly enjoyed all of these horror store and gone girl I would both recommend as well but these four I would say are my favorites so that's all that I have for this video today. I'm not feeling super well. My ears are really hurting and I am feeling really anxious. So I think I'm just going to go to sleep soon because I just like I'm over it. I'm sorry I've been sick like all of summer ween. So I haven't been as energetic. I haven't been doing as much stuff. But I hope you guys enjoyed my two vlogs otherwise. And I'm really excited to be posting more content. And I just love summer ween so much. So I was so glad I was able to participate this year and knock off some thrillers that have been really, really like high on my TBR. Um, so yeah. But that's all that I have for this video today. I hope you all enjoyed. If you made it to the end of this video, leave the little ghost emoji down below for summer ween and again that's all that I have so I'll see y'all my next one bye everybody